Welcome back, everyone, to another edition of Rudy's Rant, powered by Come On Now, the podcast. I am your host, Rudy Rodriguez Shomat. And I didn't talk about it yesterday, but I'm talking about it today. I'm talking about game three of the WNBA finals, in which the New York Liberty came from 15 points down to beat the Minnesota Lynx in the Target Center in Minnesota, 82 77 off of a game winning three by Sabrina Ionescu with a one second to go in the game. Now, before we jump in, thank you to our con- for your continued support of our channel. We greatly appreciate you. And oh yeah, this is Rudy's rant. We practice facts over feelings. And while P- and this, and I and I point this out of facts over feelings because this is why. You think this was a good game. You look at the scoreboard and say, "Oh my God, what an exciting game!" thrilling contest it's close down to the wire you need a 28 foot jump shot to to win the game it's great right wrong and i'm going to tell you why it's wrong because this game should not have been close beyond the fact that minnesota was up 15 in the first half minnesota did everything humanly possible to put this game on a plate for the Liberty to take. And it took them a little bit, but they finally took it. So what do I mean by that? Well, this is what I mean. In the fourth quarter, the Minnesota Lynx were otherworldly terrible. And I want to show you an example of just how terrible that fourth quarter was. I have some clips. You take a look, as I presume that many of you didn't even watch the game, or if you did, you will see now what I see and how I watch basketball. I don't watch basketball like the common person who doesn't have deeper knowledge of the game. I watch basketball from a perspective of how the hell do professionals miss these kinds of shots? You know how they miss them? They choked their effing ass off. That's how. And I will tell you this, the New York Liberty weren't a whole lot better, but they came up with three huge buckets in the final two minutes to pull this win out. And I'm going to show you also which shot was actually the biggest shot of the game. And yes, you'll say it had to be Sabrina's game-winning three. Mm -mm -mm. No. And you know why? Because Sabrina took a 28-foot jump shot, which is a terrible shot, with a tie game. There was no danger in that shot, other than it being a bad shot that just happened to go in for a 33% three-point shooter who was having an otherwise awful game. But let me start off with this first clip right here. So you see what I'm talking about. Here's Williams. This was a layup missing factory in the fourth quarter. Let me let me do this. This is a better layout. Courtney Williams. All right, so we're gonna wa- you're gonna watch this basically a rub play for Courtney Williams. Uh, I guess you call it a screen, but I don't really ever see them really screen. Now there was one screen that was a real screen, and that is an absolutely blown lip. At that time, it is 66, 63 minutes when it leaves with 7:36 left. That is a wide open layup, uncontested. Wide open layup, 68, 63. I'm going to count them for you. And, and here's the thing. There were mistakes by the, by the Liberty. And there was probably one completely wide open botched bunny. And I'll show it to you as well. But the Liberty, the one thing that Liberty didn't do in that fourth quarter is miss bunnies. Wide open shots. They did not. They hit the wide open looks. So right now, we're at 736. It should now be 68-63. Missed layup. 
right? Let's get to the next one. All right, here we go. We're driving the court. It's 66-63 still, 722. This is Sabrina Unescu, who apparently played so great, but here makes a horrendous pass. One of 18 turnovers, okay? You got that? One of 18 turnovers. Remember, she hit the game winner, but she had played like dog doo-doo. She had seven points with two minutes to go in the game. Let's jump to this clip. This is off of this is off of that steal. Look, look at how we got uh Collier running the floor. Collier in transition. Wide Speed open. Literally, your job is to shoot wide open jump shots. That is as wide open a look as Alana Smith is ever going to get in her life. Yes, I was. She got hurt. She got no lift. If you've got no lift, then you shouldn't be on the floor. But as long as you're on the floor, I expect you, a three-point shooter, who's got 15 feet between her and the nearest defender, to make this absolutely wide-open shot. Okay? You, you cannot miss this shot. Smith, and she didn't just miss it. She choked her ass off. Look at how she landed. Look at where the ball went. Oh, my God. This was an aimed ass shot. 7-16. It should now be 71-63. And you might tell me it's a three-point. It's a harder shot. Alana Smith? Let me show you what Alana Smith is. Alana Smith from three. Shoots 40% from three. 40%. She's wide open. Wide open. I would guess that most of her misses are not as wide open as toe-touching wide open threes. But this is the WNBA Finals, and she choked her ass off. Let's get to the next one. All right, we got the Liberty with the ball. Oh, another turnover. Look at that. Another turnover by Sabrina. This is another turnover by Sabrina. Uh, that's Sabrina, right? Yeah, that's Sabrina. Sabrina right there going to kick out. Awful pass. So this is two turnovers in, a min in, in two minutes by Sabrina Ionescu. All right, and now we have a situation where we have Kayla McBride. There is now, at this point, it's 71-69. All right. Remember, it should be 71-63 already. Remember that. So right now, we should be looking at a game that's already 76-69. But we're not. It's 71-69. So it should be 76-69 right this second. Because it would have been 71-63. I'm sorry. It would have been. Am I correct here? 69. No, it would have been 73 69. My apologies. My math was off. I didn't, I, I, I made a mistake. It should have been already 73 69 here. Now, look at the next play. This is Kayla McBride off of her steal. Fievich is not contesting, not even trying to. And she choked the layup. So now it should be 75 69. Kayla McBride. Missed layup. That is with 5.50 to go. This is during a stretch in which no one scored a bucket for almost four minutes. And this is why I say this is bad basketball. This is bad ball. Let's jump to the next play. Courtney Williams at 71.69 still. Now it's 5.41. This one might be the most painful. Actually, no, it's not. They're all bad. This one's pretty bad, though, okay? She's coming off this screen. She's going to find. She's gonna go in and miss an, a, a wide-open five-footer. And Hines Allen's going to grab a rebound and then miss a wide-open put-back layup. Atlanta Smith, to your point, on the bench with five fouls. Will That's wide open. That's a, a seven-footer. Wide open. That's her shot, right? She's a mid-range queen, right? 
We praised her in game one for this. And I mean, my God, since game one, she's absolutely been awful hitting this wide open stuff. This is wide open. And I know she finished with, oh, she was terrible. She had 12 points, four of 14, one of four from three. <laughs> I mean, man. So let's take a look here. Look at this miss. Wide open, uncontested. Williams, the pull up. There's Hines out with a rebound. Wide open, missed. Now you've got, so let's count that as one bucket because one of those buckets should have gone in. So now we're looking at 77, 69, right? It should now be an eight point game, but they keep missing bunnies. Let's go to the next McBride, one. The rebound. McBride pushing the ball up the floor. This is going to be the monster screen that Heinz Allen sets on Fibich. But here's the problem. Heinz Allen is not looking to score. Heinz Allen was a minus 19 when she was in the game. Makes me wonder why she was even in the game at this point. But she's kind of a tank, tough, physical. However, She's not, I mean, over the last five games, she's scored all of 11, 14 points. So she's not really looking to put the ball in the hoop. So let's go back and let's take a look at this play. Right here. This is this is a screen. Now, this is a beautiful screen. I, I credit. This was one of the best screens I've seen in the WNBA all year. She didn't move. This was a clean-ass screen. And you know what? Phoebe owes some of her teammates a real conversation. Because I would be walking in our locker room after the game saying, what the fuck? Are you trying to get me killed? Are you trying to get my head taken off? The fact that they're not communicating this five minutes and 12 seconds to go in the game, you're not communicating a screen. Screen, 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 screen. I mean, this is just brutal. And, and you're a good defensive team. So I, how are you not communicating this? Boost. But here's the problem. She's on the floor unconscious. Hines Allen's going to go beeline right to the rim, but she doesn't look to the rim. If she just grabs the ball and turns to the rim, she has a right-handed layup. I don't want to hear that you're afraid of uh, someone coming over to block your shot from the weak side. They got to go through you to do that. It's a wide-open layup. Wide open. Boom. She looks the wrong direction. She looks the wrong direction. But here's what makes it worse now. Now she's blown the layup opportunity. But now, remember who your supposed the number two in the voting for MVP was? Nafisa Collier? I'm sorry, but 9 of 22. Not good. And of that, in that nine of 22, this is the fourth quarter. She took, I think, three shots or four shots. But this is, this is a situation in which you're, this is a wide open shot. You have to make this. Again, another one. It's 71 69, still five of six to go. That's a free throw. Brick. It should now be. 79-69 with 5.04 to go. To the next one. What's the clock here? It's now 71-69, 4.52. All right. This is another turnover, I believe. Or this is, no, this might be Brianna Stewart missing a bunny. No, I'm sorry, another turnover. So the Liberty are doing everything they can to ensure Minnesota wins this game. Because they're not scoring either. But the Lynx did everything to ensure that the Liberty won it too. Because they did not take advantage of anything. Like I said, the Liberty did not miss bunnies. They turned it over, which I've shown you now three, over a two and a half minute period. Right? All right, and then we move to the next clip right here. Okay, we got right here. We are on 
Kayla McBride with the ball. McBride guarded by UNESCO. Okay, we got Kayla McBride with the ball. Collier. She's driving in here. And for some reason, she stops. Like, I don't know why she stopped. This is like, folks, when I say bad ball, this is bad ball. Again, you're going to the rim. Why are you stopping? Go to the rim. Is that is that Lainey Hamilton? She's not blocking your shot. She's going to foul you. Go to the rim. Why are you stopping? Now, they gave Brianna sort of block shot here. This is not a block shot. And I will show you. Is this the right one? No. Sorry, let me get you the right one. Let me get you the right one. Okay, I found it. So here you go. As you see, she gets to the – I think she should have just gone all the way to the rim. I, I don't know why she stopped. But they like to give credit to Brianna Stewart for her defense here. This is a foul. It's not only a foul once, but it's a foul twice. Th th this is the problem with playing the, the Liberty right now. Also, Brianna Stewart shoots 10 free throws, and I, I didn't see her fouled on – a couple of them, I will say. There was one that she had an and one on Phoebe, on uh, not Phoebe, on, uh, on Alana Smith, a jump shot, and she wasn't touched. <laughs> she wasn't touched. Nafisa Collier gets absolutely no respect from these officials. None. No, no respect. None at all. She takes four free throws. She took 22 shots. She took one three. Most of her shots are inside the paint. She gets. Four free throws. Okay, let's look at this play. Outstanding defender doesn't get enough credit for it. Right here, boom! That's a foul right there on on uh I don't know who that is. I don't know if that's Lainey Hamlin. I don't know who that is actually. Let me see who that is. Is that Thornton? That might be Thornton. Um, but she's her left arm. You see the white sleeve is down, coming downward on Collier. And if you look at the other direction, see you're gonna see the this backside direction. And here come look at where look at where uh, Brianna Stewart's right hand is. Is Brianna is Brianna Stewart's right hand on the ball? No. Look at the other direction. Here we go. Boom. Foul right there. It's Thornton. Foul. Boom. That's a foul. That's a foul. Look at the left hand of Thornton. It's on Nafisa Collier's shooting hand. Look at the right hand of Brianna Stewart. It's on the left hand. Left, right here. It's right here. You got one hand right here. The other hand's right here. That's a foul twice. And then here's a third foul. This was such a badly missed call. And Collier was pretty pissed off about it. And she had every right to be. For Christ's sakes, it's the WNBA Finals. Can you make a call that's proper? That's so glaringly obvious. Watch, watch. You're going to say she high. Watch what Rebecca Lobo says. Rebecca Lobo says she high fived her. Remember, she's being fouled already by Thornton. Now, Brianna Stewart hits her square on the wrist. She didn't high five her. She didn't touch the ball. She hit her square on the arm. That's a foul. Where is the contact with the ball? That's a foul. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a foul. So this, even though she misses life, this game should now be 81-69 if she makes both free throws. But this is a foul. And this is a horrendously missed call because this game right now, at this point, how much time was in the game this, at this point? It was 70. It was still 71-69. Actually, it was still 71-69. And uh, there was three, is it 345 on this one? Yeah, uh, it was, there was 345 to go in the game. This should be a 12 point game right now, folks. But they didn't get the call. And you listen to Lobo. Space, the high five. High five.
Well, no damn high five, Rebecca. You're full of shit. That's that UConn blood. That's that UConn blood in you because that was trash. That's a foul. And she got fouled three times on one play. She got fouled twice by Stewart, and then she got fouled by, by Thornton off the rip. How they call that a block shot, let that go, I, I, no, nah, sorry. That's utterly preposterous. And they have it listed. They didn't even call it a block shot here. They said Nafisa Collier misses four, this is four foot two point shot. They didn't even give Brianna sort of block shot because Rebecca Lobo said it was a block shot. It wasn't a block shot, it was a foul. But now we'll get to the one bunny that New York actually did miss. After the hard screen. No, that's the wrong play. I apologize. Let me get this. This is the right one right here. Oh, that's the wrong play, too. Shoot. All right. I found the clip. Here we go. This is the clip to Brianna Stewart. This is after that block shot missed four-footer where Collier gets fouled th three times. This is the only shot that the Liberty missed that was a bunny. The rest of them, they missed a 23-footer. I mean, just to give you an example, in this in this run of plays, the Liberty missed a, okay, so from 7.53, they missed a 23-footer. They turned it over. Brown Stewart hit a 25-foot three. Brown Stewart hit a 14-footer. Brown Stewart, that was the foul. That was the end one on Alana Smith, but I thought it wasn't a foul. Brown Stewart makes the free throw. It's a tie game. Uh... Sabrina turns it over. Sabrina misses a 25-footer badly. Um, Brianna Stewart turns it over. Brianna Stewart misses a three-pointer, a 23-footer. And this is this is where we are right now. So you see that this, these weren't bu easy buckets, whereas damn near every shot that – Minnesota took in this stretch was inside the inside the uh, restricted area or within five, six feet. They were they were they were easy buckets and they missed all of them wide open for the most for the most part, open looks and that foul. But take a look at this. And remember, this is the woman who's having an epic game, according to them. They'll say it right here. Into Stewart. Stewart, the Bro, they didn't even guard her. They didn't even guard her. Watch it again. They didn't even guard her. Here's Ionescu. Into Stewart. Look at it. Uncontested. It's an uncontested look. The girl just stuck her hands up. She's four inches shorter than five inches shorter. She didn't do anything. She didn't try to do anything. She let her shoot it. She missed a freaking four-footer. They say it's a seven-footer. That's not a seven-foot shot. It's like a four-footer. Let's say it is a seven-footer. It's an uncontested shot. Missed. So like here, okay. So now it should be 81-71. I'll give the credit for that wide open bunny. Now let's move on. This is now the other direction. Courtney Williams. What is she rushing for? What is she rushing for here? Why isn't she going and exploding to the basket here? I know that's Brianna Stewart. You have more speed than Brianna Stewart. You can beat her to the edge, and yet you pull up for a 15-footer. Again, this is supposed to be her shot. She's a mid-range shooter, right? Williams. Bob, this is an old, people will say this is contested. Yes, it's slightly contested, but this is an otherwise open look. This is why she pulled up because this is her spot. Comes up. She's up. That's an that, that's a contest. That's a that look where she is. She's in shooting motion. Brianna Stewart is nowhere near this play she's still on the ground that ball's released before that freaking hand comes up in the world of basketball that's an open look but i'm going to give it a credit and say that this is not one of the bunnies but i will sit here and tell you it was a bad shot she should have gone to the rim so she misses that rebound okay now let's get back to where the other stuff was right here um she comes now courtney williams does come down the floor on um, after a turnover now. Now the next possession for for um the next possession for them was a turnover. Uh let me see right here. Yeah, John Cole Jones turned the ball over. This is I think I think they got this thing incorrect actually right here. But <laughs> um, 
They done, yeah, they had a shot. Yeah. John Coyle Jones turned it over. The Liberty turned it over one, two, five times, six times from the seven and a half minute mark. Six times. If we start here at 721, Sabrina turnover. At 606, Sabrina turnover. At 552, Sabrina turnover. At 449, Stewart, Brianna Stewart, turnover. At 323, John Quell Jones, turnover. This is the fifth. At 246, this was a shot clock violation on John Quell Jones where she got stuck in the corner. And rather than calling timeout, she just held the ball for five seconds and turned the ball over. And they were trailing 71-69. So at this point, consider the fact. You see, this is why I'm trying to break it all down. Because do not tell me this is good basketball. The Liberty won a game in which they turned the ball over not once, twice, three times, four times, five times, but six times from the 721 mark of the fourth quarter to the 220, 246 mark of the fourth quarter. They turned it over six times in three, one, three, in less than four minutes. Folks, are you understanding what I'm saying now? Are you, I, I really, I really want you to understand. Are you really understanding what I'm saying right now? And while this is happening, the Lynx miss layup, wide open three, uncontested by 15 feet from a 40% three-point shooter. Layup, another layup, a, 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 a fourth, a four, shoot, 68, 71, 75, 48, 77, 70, I mean, layup after layup, bunny after bunny. Like, come on, man. Come on. So this is the biggest play of the game, in my opinion. This, right after Courtney Williams finally broke the slump at 225, she hit a, a driving layup. Well, a little short floater from six feet out, seven feet out. Nafisa Collier, who's supposed to be the defensive player of the year, completely shit the bed defensively. John Quell Jones can shoot. 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 I know I had to repeat it a few times, but I'm going to tell you why I'm repeating it. Because John Quell Jones shoots 39% from three. And. If I go look at the player who who had the ball, who can make an open shot, but you're not expecting her to make a play, you have to know who's in the game. You have to know who's doing what. I think this is the clip right here. Right here. Look at where... Nafisa Collier's dropped on coverage on John Quell Jones. Fibich is driving right. There is no reason in the world. No reason in the world to be helping on a player who's averaging six and a half points a game. I, I'm sorry. You cannot be playing off, helping off of, helping on to a player averaging six and a half points a game. You can't. You just cannot. So you have in the corner, I think that's Batanji Laney Hamilton. She shoots 40% from three as well. I'm going to tell you what I think should have been done. I think. You have a you 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 show, but you don't move, right? So if you look at what happens, first of all, she's too far in the paint. She's literally in. The, she has a foot in the paint. 
and you see the kick out, and she kicked out before she got to the restricted area. She kicked out so quickly because Collier was so badly overplaying it. And John Quill Jones is 6'5". She's wide open. She's not going to get her shot blocked by Collier, who's 10 feet away from her. I mean, she can't even get a legitimate contest on this shot. Right there. She's wide open. Wide open. She attempted to contest it, but that shot should have never even gone off. You give up a two. You don't give up a three. You cannot give up a three there. You cannot. The New York Liberty have scored two points over four. How long was it before they scored? The New York Liberty had not scored from the 618 mark until the 210 mark. Four plus minutes. And you give up that? It's a horrible defensive play, in my opinion. You cannot be that deep in the paint. You have to freaking trust whoever has his guard. I can't. That's that's Carlton or whoever. All these white women that for Minnesota look alike to me. I mean, yeah, I'm just being honest. And, and you can't be playing that. You can't sag like that. Let Fitch make a layup. If she makes it, she makes it. You're don't. You're still up two. But so now you're. It's a three. It should be 81-74. Remember, I'm keeping score of all these missed bunnies. I'm not keeping track of missed threes. I'm not keeping track of other shots. I'm just talking about the easy buckets that Minnesota left on the table. So now we move into this. 74-73. What do we have again? There's 115 to go. That is Kayla McBride who's driving to the rim. And, of course, what happens? She misses a wide-open layup. Don't tell me that's not a wide-open layup. That's a wide-open layup. There's no contest on the shot. She choked. She choked. This is a choke job. Missed another open layup. So this girl missed two wide-open layups in the fourth quarter. It should be 83-74. Now we go to the next clip right here. It is, I'm sorry, is that the right one? No, I don't think so. Oh, that's going back. See this one. Yeah, this, let's just go into this one. This, and now we have here, we're at 77 77. This is just so ungodly frustrating because at this point, we're at 77 77 77. It should be 87. 77 because the the timber the lynx had just hit two buckets um, a bucket and then hit a, two free throws to make it set because they fell behind 77 73 after sabrina hit a three she then missed a three so yeah sabrina hit a couple of big shots down the stretch but i will i would argue to you that the john Quell jones shot was the biggest shot of the game for them because they were scuffling they had not hit a bucket in over four minutes and Nafisa Collier, the best player in the WNBA, def- not the best, maybe, I mean, she could be, uh, but to some people, but the best defensive player in the league committed a massive error defensively, which cost them a three-point shot and let a four-point game get back down to one. All right? And I missed something here. I missed something. Shoot, I did miss something right here. Okay, that was the that was the missed bunny. Is that it? No, that's not it. Oh, yes. oh God, where is that play? Let me find it real quick. All right, I found it here. I found it here. It was on this one right here. And this is bugging me. This one bugs me a lot. This one bugs me a lot because, again, this is an example of the supposed one of the best players in the league shying away from the moment. She shot away from it and then got the ball back and choked. She choked. So I apologize. It shouldn't be 87-77. Right here, you have a bucket. You have an easy bucket here. It's a great pick, great job by Courtney was draw two, two defenders. Two the pick and roll. In Watch. Three. Got the switch. She's wide open. She didn't go. She should. This is what bothers me. You are your team's best player. 
instead of attacking, you're not even looking at the rim. You can't score if you don't look at the rim. I don't want you kicking it out to, I don't know, I think that's Carlton. Carlton needs to be, I mean, realistically, Carlton should have been in the corner. Or on the pass, should have simply shot a six-footer. Instead, she drives. Now, if, again, catch, catch, turn and look at the basket. Why are you turn? Why are you turning to the wrong to your offhand? This is a turn, a pivot left layup. She's not gonna get there in time, or she'll foul you. I know it's Brianna Stewart. She will foul you. So slow. She cut. See right here. She shouldn't have cut. It's funny. This is something that Ronnie James has been criticized for. She shouldn't have cut, and that's because men can dunk. You can't dunk. Stay right there. Get the open look since Kyler don't want it. But she drives in, and now she doesn't want to shoot herself. But look where Collier is now. So she passed up the first one. Turn. This is just this is just lucky as hell because I don't know what the hell she's doing here, jumping in the air like this. She could have just turned back and kicked it to Collier. The ball ends up with Collier somehow, and she's absolutely wide open for a night, a 10-footer, and she bricks it. It's 87, that's 147, so it should be 75-72 at that moment on that shot. But no, what it should be now, when we get to this final play, is this game should be 89-77, flat out. It should be 89-77, and I'm going to show you the final play of the game which is just the culmination of bad fucking basketball by the Minnesota Lynx. Just bad basketball. Because they should be up 12. This game is over. The amount of easy buckets they missed in the fourth quarter, this game is over. They shot 38.7% from the game. 7 minutes 7 and a half minutes I'm sorry 7 minutes Collier hit a 20 footer I'm sorry that's the first quarter my my bad my bad, my bad. I'm looking at this too. they hit in the five, well, six so like, like, okay the 6 minute mark they hit free throws one bucket two they hit two buckets the last six minutes of the game. Two baskets. They made two shots and two and, and four free throws. The last six minutes of the game. Six minutes and six seconds of the game. This play right here, though, pisses me off. Because after the game, Sabrina Ionescu says, my teammates got me open. Watch the play. How'd they get her open? They didn't get her open. No one ran screen roll. Now, what I'm going to tell you is this. There's no screen here. What I'm going to tell you now is this. People think this is a pressure field shot. It's not. There's no pressure on the shot. First of all, this is bad basketball. Because if you attack the rim and get fouled, you get free throws. No one will ever tell you that a 28-foot jump shot is a good shot, unless your name is Steph Curry and Dame Lillard, and that's about it. Anyone else in the NBA, a 28-foot jump shot is not a good shot. I would tell you that a 28-foot jump shot by Caitlin Clark is not a good shot. This is not a good shot, not from a 33% shooter. And what makes it worse is the defense that Caitlin McBride plays on this play is so ungodly bad. She's not being screened. Sabrina made no move to the right to get her off balance. This is a matter of just stay in front of her. Stay in front of her. You can see the clock on the other shot clock. It's right in front of you. You know how much time she has left. If you don't, that's your failure as a player to recognize time and situation. That's your bad. 
But she makes no move whatsoever here. She just goes straight to her left. She doesn't do anything special. She's on her left. She never does a move to the right. To, she never jabs right. And Kayla McBride goes flying to the left. For what? She just went up and McBride. What? Here's the thing. What if she crosses over? Is she going to take a 32-footer? Remember, there's four seconds left. She's going to the top of the key. The, 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 the easiest look is straight ahead. The best chance for a, a, a friendly roll is straight ahead. And you're flying off of nothing. Look at this crap. Four seconds. I, I mean, that's awful defense. Awful defense. But no one got you open, Sabrina. You got yourself open on a basic dribble to the left. And Kayla McBride showed just how ungod ungodly unathletic she is. Ionescu will and and there's your ball game, folks. There's your ball game. This is bad ball. You can sit here and run it a thousand different ways. This is bad basketball. This game should have been over. Minnesota gifted it. I'm sorry. New York was gifting it. Minnesota gifted it right back. And then Minnesota gave it away. Don't tell me this is good basketball. I don't want to hear it. I've watched basketball my entire life. I don't want to hear that this shit is good. Because if you think this is good, you don't know fuck all about basketball. And I don't want to hear that women miss layups. Because while I know that to be a fact, a fact that women miss a lot of layups, these are supposed to be the two best teams in the league. They should not miss layups at a level in which Angel Reese misses layups. And that's what happened in the fourth quarter of this game. And I'm not trying to take a pot shot at Angel Reese, but that's how what, what it is. The amount of missed bunnies in the last Six minutes of this game by Minnesota is embarrassing. It's embarrassing. And I'm not even sitting here saying that you have to have made them all. They left 12 points on the court for missed buckets that were wide open. That's all I got. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. If you got through this 43-plus minute video, I am so very appreciative. But I really wanted to break this crap down. If you truly understand why I think this is just trash can basketball. If you disagree with me, leave a comment. I want to hear what you got to say. If you agree with me, leave a comment. I want to hear what everyone got to say about this one. Because tomorrow's game four, when you see this, it's actually tonight. It's midnight right now as I'm doing this. To, the, tonight's game four. I have a Yankees game to watch. I will have zero interest in the in this game. None. If I watch it, it'll be on a replay. But I damn sure ain't going to be watching this shit live. No way in hell. I'm watching the Yankees. Leave a comment. Again, subscribe. Do Rudy's rant. Subscribe. Come on out of the podcast. Appreciate you. Love you. Five facts or feelings, man. Come on now.